Hi everyone, it's Aske4589. Today I want to show you a fully working monorail train swapper. It's perfect for your survival needs, especially when you're in an early stage of the game and don't want to waste rails on a two-way design. The way it works is very simple. It uses line blocks to send a minecart flying into the air so that another one can pass under it. So here's how it works. A bar-based circuit detects when a cart is approaching the station and sends a short pulse to the machine. The signal activates a double piston extender that detects the rails and then makes the slime block appear from the floor. Once the incoming minecart is launched into the sky, the pistons extend and the second cart leaves the station. Since it really is a straightforward mechanism, I've been able to make it very small and so here's the tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 15 by 5 by 5 blocks tall area. The fourth block from the bottom is going to be your dirt level, so you can align it with your other builds. Now, you are going to need just a few little resources. First of all, you are going to need a stack, or about a stack, of um, building blocks. You are going to need 8 unmovable objects. I suggest that you use furnaces because they are very cheap, but you can also use melons, pumpkins, obsidian, whatever you want, that can't be pushed by slime block. As far as the railway goes, you are going to need 11 powered rails, 2 detector rails and 1 normal piece of rail. And then, as far as the redstone is concerned, you are going to need 10 pieces of redstone dust, 4 repeaters, 5 torches, 2 levers, 2 normal pistons, 4 sticky pistons and 4 slime blocks. And that's all you need. So first of all we are going to build a track for our minecarts. They are going to come from this way and they are going to stop on this block. So, you want to come to this side and build 4 blocks upwards, aligning with the floor level, and then build 7 blocks like this, put down a furnace, then a slime block and another furnace, and then 4 more uh, building blocks and a block in diagonal like this. Now you want to put down your powered rails, you want to have 4 like this, then 2 detector rails, other powered rails right the way to here, and then a normal rail and another powered rail. So now you want to place down your pistons, you want to have two of them down below the, uh, the detector rails facing away from the tracks and then you want to have a sticky piston with a block on top also facing away from the track. You want to then build all of the structure for your, for your redstone, so you want to put a, a block here and then create a U shape like this, put a block here and another one here, one like this, go one block up like this, then you want to come to the other side, put two blocks there, a block up like this, three blocks in a row, and then a block in diagonal, another block in diagonal, and one to the side. Then you want to put down the last pistons, you want to have a sticky piston facing upwards right here, that can push this line block, you then want to have another piston facing this way right here and another one right there. Now before I forget you want to you wanna put, that, uh, put, put down also all of your furnaces the last six, six furnaces are going to put, be put like this and then you want to put down two levers to power the rail one must be here and the, one, and the other one right here on the second block from the furnace. Now on with the redstone part, but before we begin you must put down three slime blocks, the last three slime blocks in a row like this. Then you want to head to this side and put down a torch like this here, a repeater set it on one tick, four pieces of dust like this, well five pieces of dust, a repeater set on two ticks with a torch on top of this block, another torch on top of this block. Then you want to head to the other side and put a piece of dust here, a repeater set on two ticks, two pieces of dust like this, a redstone repeater set on two ticks and two pieces of dust. Then the last torches, a torch must be put here and another one here. And that's all of your circuit done. Now we can give it a little test. So the first minecart goes in without any problem. As you can see it's all fluent but there's no other minecart so it would be a shame if, it, if there were a problem. And then the other minecart goes 
it gets shot into the air and then the other one goes away so the design works and also uh, I forgot to mention but this design can be used of course with players maps and all kind of other minecarts so if I if I st um, if I mount on this one and I go forward the other minecart gets swapped and goes away with no absolute problem and the same goes if I put a rail and stand on the other one sorry if I put a minecart and stand on the other one it still works so there you have it a fully working monorail minecart swapper that works with slime blocks I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, show your appreciation by leaving a like and or subscribing, and I'll see you next time.